Which of your fingers do you like the least? Um, today, the Triwives will be making chairs without instruction. We look awesome. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Oh yeah. Super nailed it there. At the end of this, Ojoy oh and Lord DIY are both gonna sit on our chairs, and I'm just kind of hoping that they don't. Oh. <laughs> don't do construction in Birkenstocks. That's the number one rule. Today, we are building chairs without instructions. We have a podcast called You Can Sit With Us, so we are making a chair to hopefully use in our podcast studio if it's, uh, if it's usable. We're making one chair today? Two chairs, we're making two chairs today. Technically, they don't have to be comfortable. I would say I am not crafty. I put up wallpaper once in our laundry room. I wouldn't say that was a particularly crafty thing to do. I would say it didn't come out well and then I cried for like three hours and Keith had to take it down and then we had to buy all new wallpaper and then do it again. I'm pretty crafty. I used to do a lot of DIYs pre adulthood. <laughs> I know Lore DIY and Ojoy are judging us today and I look up to both of them very much and I hope they like what we make. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Lauren, otherwise known as Lore DIY and I am a DIY and lifestyle YouTuber. I also host a crafting show on HBO Max called Craftopia. My name is Joy Cho. I'm the founder and creative director of Ojoy.com, a lifestyle brand and my home was recently featured on the cover of Domino Magazine. My name is Emiliano Rios, and I'm a carpenter who works in film and television. Well, a chair is super important because the body is at rest. It's as, as important as a bed or a pair of shoes. It needs to allow you to be comfortable without any effort whatsoever. The study of anthropometry relates the shapes of our bodies to the world that surrounds us. A good or an excellent chair might have leg rests, might have some articulation, might be able to fold. So you can add cup holders or arm rests. Based on how hard or how soft the wood will expand and contract through the ambient moisture. So there's certain things that as long as you nail them, you will have a reasonably comfortable experience on your brand new novice chair. All right, how about them apples? Would you make a chair without instructions if you were me? Are you a beginner? Yes, very much. You would need instructions. How confident do I feel? In terms of my abilities, I'm feeling 11. In terms of the time, I'm feeling like a five or a six. Ready, set, go! go. <laughs> okay. Chairs. Hidden in here are legs. Yeah. Legs to chairs. And I honestly think that's cheating. Becky will keep us very focused. Okay. Should we pick our pattern? Yeah, let's pick we our pattern. We didn't fully decide on the pattern. Yeah. Ugh. What about foot? <laughs> I mean, Joy would love that. Yeah. If we just use a little bit of this okay. Okay. on the seat mm -hmm. and it could this be kind of around. Fun. Yeah. And Ariel has a lot of the technical skills. What are we doing for legs? It's very important to not only draw your plans, but internalize them to the point that you can dream of them. So I'm thinking like a tripod where this is the front uh -huh. and it angularly, it's kind of hard to draw. Maggie is coming in with that DIY energy. Maggie's my idea woman. And then a Tic Tac back. That goes all a tic-tac back. back. What's a yeah. tic-tac back? It's just the shape of a tic-tac. I, of course, am the muscle, um, which I'm okay with. That's You're not so talking cool. about a tripod like this. No. I think I'm gonna do amazing today. I'm gonna be more of like the moral support. So almost like this. But shorter. Maybe. Ooh. You know, that's almost too easy. I feel like we should make... Um, oh, I feel like... No, <laughs> We may have some problems down the line where we're getting right, into this structure. Right, 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 right. A pencil and a measuring tape are the most important tools you will start with. We have a chair height of 18 inches. We have a chair back of 35 inches. Okay, so I'll make the seats first and then you guys can upholster the seats. Okay, okay. How big of a chair do we want here? Is this supposed to be the butt? So I have to decide how wide the seat will be and how deep it will be. Typically, they are 18 inches wide. Should we have Becky sit on it and we can like Draw around my booty. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just draw <laughs> the sides of your butt a little extra. Here, actually, we don't even have to have you, you sit on nice this. Table. We'll do my measurements. We'll do, okay. I mean, you're pretty teeny. She's like like 13 across, so let's make it 16. Yeah. 
Well, so that's well. <laughs> well. It almost looks like I'm fidgeting, but I'm really just measuring things again. Measure twice, cut once. You know what I always say, Ariel. You know Damn, what I girl, always where say. Did you do that? Uh, the most important thing. Whenever doing any kind of carpentry, it's your own personal safety and ergonomics. Oh, and gloves. Ah. Ariel, put some gloves on. You gotta be safe. Oh, thank you. Thank safety. you. Oh, this safety is first. way heavier than mine. Goggles. Do we, got, do we need goggles? I could just wear my sunglasses. Goggles are important. If you don't have goggles, safety squints can do. We look awesome. We look wow. really cool. <laughs> I think, Maggie, you should probably put yours on, too. I know, I see a left. Just in case, because I don't want you to get sawdust in your eyes. Clamps are super important because you don't always have an assistant and you will always need something to hold your workpiece. Okay. It's okay. All right. Okay, so basically this it's gonna be cutting where this notch is right here. If you've never used power tools, you've probably helped your parents cook in the kitchen. And the way that I started using power tools was to remember that it's no different from a handheld blender. Come on. Remember that these are spinning chisels and your body's the softest thing in the shop. Excellent job, Maggie! Beautiful. All right, here's our seats. Whee! So the circular saw made these two cuts. I gave this a 10 degree angle because that seemed comfortable to me. Back leg, front leg, we're looking at it in profile. This is where the seat will be. I walked over here and I saw that, and I said, where did that big piece of wood come from? <gasps> it's there. It's the tabletop. It's the table. But instead of using two pieces of wood for the, the back of the chair butt, uh -huh, uh -huh. I just use this. And so we cut the circle out here, put the seat on there. Oh. Well, there. If you don't have an angle to your chair, you'll feel like you're at a bus stop. The more it cradles a resting body, the more comfortable the chair will be. Oh, well, there. Well, then we don't have to do all the cuts. You think it's gonna balance? I think we're gonna find out. Woo! Okay, I'm going down my cut list, and I think I have enough to assemble the skeleton of this chair. And once we have the ones that go in this direction, and then the ones that go across in the front, we'll have something to lay across our seats boards. Oh, the number one IKEA hack, bottle of wood glue. As you're assembling your IKEA project, put a little dab here and there, just where things connect. The, the advantage of flat packed furniture is that the joinery is all dependent on the end user, and joinery is one of the things that makes furniture resilient. And if you're adding a little bit of glue to your joinery, it gives your flat packed furniture that much more longevity. Let me make sure this is level. Oh, look at you glued! Should we do construction ASMR? Sure! Today, we're gonna be building chairs. That's what the girl on TikTok does. Oh, let me help you with your makeup. You know, I actually hate ASMR. Do you? Yeah, I've never seen the Try Guys ASMR video because it upsets me so much. I'm gonna be using pocket holes to screw this in, which means that I'm going at a diagonal. You can pre-drill with a standard twist bit. Yeah, girl. Watch your fingers, girl, I'll hold this one. Nailed it. I am drilling at an angle so that the screw attaches to the inside wall of this leg. But I am going out of my way, having sc things screwed in from behind the show side so that it just has a little bit more polish. Okay. Check it out, guys. Oh, oh. That looks good. That looks like a chair. <laughs> Front of chair. Back of chair. Now we're attaching these two parts with the skirts I cut before. I feel like this kind of looks like something you would see in like a really fancy magazine and people would be like, this is the future of design. Exactly. You like this? You're like, how do I sit on how it? Sit on I feel it? like this is like, if you just put a hole in it and you just draw some some sort of graphic. Oh yeah, it's like, like a little hole. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we put a little hole in the middle? Cool. Now we have a chair shaped object. Oops, that's a microphone. Oh, Maggie's cutting, look at her go. Nice one, Mag. I feel like I'm at Joanne's great. Great. When you go and they like, can I have a yard please? And they make it look oh, so yeah. easy. Now, I'll put something on the top to make a seat and I probably will get several boards of one by three. It's perfect. <gasps> oh, yeah. see, and we'll go over a little bit. 
Okay, let me just measure this and then you can have it and you can start upholstering. I uh, learned to reupholster. I taught myself. You pull it as tight as you can and that's how you get that nice foam edge there. <laughs> Watch your finger. Who wants an ear piercing? Jonathan. Excellent. So loud. I know, it's really loud. Next, just pulling all our might. Nice. Good job. I'm liking this, this uh, pattern more and more. Just gonna take a look at. Oh, that's a cushion. Nice. That's a cushion. That looks that nice. nice. Oh my God, my finger just cramped. 30 minutes? Once everything is assembled here, they line up flush with the front of the chair. Wait, wait, wait. Check, check, check. Oh, eh? And then I can screw it in oh. here. Okay. It's pretty sturdy. It's very erect. It's, it's very, very sturdy. Erect. I'm gonna do but then, but then we're gonna do a curve here. Yeah. But the last cuts that I need to make are the backrest pieces. And I think I wanna add a second one right here. I'm measuring an arch that is 10 inches. Cause it's like a circle. That looks nice. You think? Yeah. Beautiful. Really nice. yeah. Thank you. It's very Thank like you. postmodern. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna get the jigsaw. <gasps> She's getting the jigsaw. Wee! I'm coming, mom. Okay. Do you have your gloves? No. No. Do you have your glasses? No. no. Oh God. Oh God, what do you want me to do, Ariel? Uh, actually, yeah, just hold it, hold that side. Okay, you ready? My hand's here. Holy guacamole. This is not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> if I were to lay this on there and uh -huh. just like hold on. We could try it, let's try it. But okay. do you want me to flip it so you can see the lines? Yeah. Oh, split oh, oh no, it broke skin. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Do you want me to sit on it? Sure. I'm scared. As long as it doesn't like. I'm just holding it steady. unsafe. <laughs> it's likely to be the final piece. If I'm unsatisfied with anything, I can add wood, but we might be at the home stretch here. Oh. Final 15! 15! Becky, sit test. <gasps> I'm tilted a little. Yeah? Tilted a little to the right. Crap. Oh, it is so tilted. Ooh, ooh, if they say it's tilted, let's just gaslight them and say, no, we sat in it, and <laughs> it's definitely you're not. crazy. Definitely it's not. Not. You're it's definitely totally wrong. 12 minutes, the glue gun is ready. The glue Get gun the glue is ready. Gun. We're going, we're going. It seems like incomplete, right? Can we do like a, this this blue border or something? That's a good idea. Get it fluffy. I do like that. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's go for we it. We might need a second glue gun. I think it works, guys. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, we got this, we got this. Scissors. 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 I'm liking this so very much. I don't mm. No. Ah! I think we need an extra minute for daylight savings time. Five, Cute. Four, three. No wobble. Yeah. yeah. Feels like a chair. Welcome to the judging portion of Without Instructions. All right, the criteria today are aesthetics, construction, and are they chairs? I see the value in a pretty chair that's kind of useless as an actual chair, but as someone who has little to no ass, I do appreciate a little, a little comf moment on uh -huh, the chair. Uh -huh. We have some beautiful chairs to show you today. Some elegant, high fashion, high design chairs. Also, usually the Without Instruction series, um, I'm not gonna say that the boys always make um, thugly things. Garbage. Garbage, they make literal hot garbage. Trash. Just yeah. hot, hot, milky trash. <laughs> um, and we're not, we're not trashy. No. We're not trashy. You guys are classy. classy. Exactly. Classy. Yes. Yes. 
All right, ladies, we present to you the You Can Sit With Us chairs. One, two, three. first? Is it the colorful pattern? Is it the pom-poms? I'm drawn to like the familiar shape of a porta potty for some reason. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay. Joy, how about you? What do you love the most about our chair? <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. I am su nicely surprised. You're so nice. <laughs> By the it has a regal feeling on the back, mm. on the back part. Oh, yeah, in the front. Like a little on the throny back. in the back. A little throny. That's uh -huh. the okay. okay. I think the pom-poms really bring down the the mature, like, this is fun and unique and, like, funky, and then the pom-poms, it's like, Wes and Finn were like, let me help. Mm. And then, you know, Thank you for your honesty. Tap okay. them on. Appreciate that. What do you think about the little pom-poms? I think they make it worse. I agree. Ouch. I mean, I don't like the pom-poms at all, honestly, but I could have been more okay with it if it was just the big ones. Or Does someone feel specifically targeted with pom-poms? Was, was that a decision of anyone specific? Because I don't mean to offend. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lips? <laughs> I mean, Maggie's our idea, lady, but you know, we, we, we definitely agreed that the pom-poms were a great idea. We did. I do think that back is gonna be highly uncomfortable because it's so straight. But it might also be good for posture. Just glue your back yeah, to it. Yeah, glue your back Pin those shoulder blades mm -hmm. back. It'll be perfect. Yeah. Oh, this is this is cushier than I thought it was gonna be. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We hear you, we see you. Oh. This. It feels a little... Mm -hmm. I mean, you, do, you can do that with a chair. Look, yeah. watch this. <laughs> <laughs> watch this. Functionally, I feel like they're probably like the closest to a dining room chair. Ladies. Now is now is the moment. Now is the time you've been waiting for. Um, do you want to go ahead and sit in our chairs? This is the moment I've been waiting for. This is for. the moment. This is the chair of chairs. Oh my god, oh. my back. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. <gasps> I almost fell. Oh no. Okay, so that here's the rough. thing. <laughs> is that like oh. you can't shift your body one you, the way diagonal or the other. The diagonal, yeah. It almost feels like a video game. <laughs> right, like the 4D where you're yeah, like yeah, yeah. where it has to kind of because here's the This almost feels a little bit like a torture device. <laughs> like there's nowhere to relax. I've got no arms, I've got no seat, I've got too much back. <laughs> I've got nowhere to go. <laughs> I mean, there's like a crafty vibe to it that's like not good crafty. Right. And kind of. Sit on them. Kind of. But not comfortably. Not comfortable. And not not safe. If the pom poms weren't there, I would feel much happier with it. Me too. Because I'm almost yes. thinking if it was white, it would feel a little bit more cohesive. Because there's something about the raw wood mm -hmm. that has like an outdoor nature -y vibe. It doesn't fit to me. It doesn't flow. So the final question is. Are they chairs? Yes. yes. <laughs> we did. We did. It. We won. We won. We did. It. <laughs> the chair almost fell over. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate all the positive energy in this room, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. It's really pretty. It's, it's a functional sculpture as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, more, more sculpture than chair. It's also not centered. So this was definitely eyeballed into existence. Cool.